Here are the installation steps for bonding Sentinel PVC membranes to the field surface of a roof using the Duotac SPF adhesive. First, you should know that PVC membranes that can be bonded using the Duotac SPF adhesive are fleece-backed membranes. They are reinforced with an enhanced polyester reinforcement and are available in two thicknesses, 1.5 millimeters or 2 millimeters. Before starting work, make sure that the environmental conditions are acceptable. Make sure the substrate is dry, clean, and free of any debris, oil, grease, or dirt. It is important to know that PVC is incompatible with bitumen. Any contact between these two materials must be therefore avoided. Unroll the membrane in place on the substrate in order to dissipate the tensions accumulated during manufacturing and to facilitate its installation. The Duotac SPF kit comes with a set of 65 centimeter long hoses, an applicator, and 10 replacement nozzles. Adhesive temperature must be between 21 and 32 degrees Celsius at all times during application. If the outside temperature is lower than these values, it will be necessary to condition the product until it reaches the right temperature. There is a strip on the Part B container that clearly indicates if the application temperature is reached. The thermometer must be in the green zone. Mix the containers for about one minute before use. Fix the hose labeled A to Part A container and hand tighten. Then use a wrench to make sure the hose is in place. Do not over tighten. Repeat the same steps for the Part B container. Open the valves and check for leaks. If so, close the valves and tighten the hoses. Release the safety valve and press the trigger of the applicator. Watch product flow through both hoses and run it into a waste container before installing the nozzle. Do a test spray before starting the application. You will be able to familiarize yourself with the movement and the speed at which to apply the product according to the climatic conditions. You are now ready to apply the adhesive. Fold the membrane back on itself and begin applying the adhesive to the substrate. Hold the nozzle approximately two feet above the substrate and spray the adhesive while maintaining a consistent pattern. The adhesive setting time can vary from 30 seconds to one and a half minutes. It is therefore essential to unroll the membrane over the adhesive immediately after application. While the adhesive is still fresh, roll over the entire surface with a heavy roller to ensure full adhesion of the membrane. Then fold the other half of the membrane on itself and do the same on this side. As you can see, the rolls are aligned end to end, leaving about six millimeters between the two membranes. Clean up any adhesive splatter on the side laps as soon as possible with a non-greasy cleaner. Fasteners might be required at the base of parapets or upstands. Depending on job site conditions, fasteners can be installed horizontally on the field surface as shown in the video. They can also be installed vertically at the base of the parapet using a metal fastening bar as in this illustration. Now let's see how to treat membrane overlaps. The use of a welding cart and an electric hot air welder will be required. First of all, we recommend that you perform test welding each time your welding equipment is stopped and restarted or when there is a change in climatic conditions. To do so, turn on your device and wait until it reaches the desired temperature. Use membrane scraps and weld them together. Once the sample has cooled, pull the two pieces of membranes apart. A satisfactory weld is produced when the PVC uniformly delaminates from the reinforcing fabric and has a minimum width of 38 millimeters. Before welding the overlaps, make sure they are clean and uncontaminated. Clean them as needed with a non-greasy cleaner. You can now weld all side laps using an electric hot air welding cart. 
Use the hot air welder for tighter spots and details. At end laps again, be sure to thoroughly clean the surface of the membranes with a non-greasy cleaner. Install a 150 mm strip of bare-backed PVC membrane centered over the end lap. The corners of the strip must be rounded and the strip must exceed the side lap by at least 75 mm. Spot weld to hold the strip in place. Then seal around the perimeter of the strip using the welding cart. And finish the ends with the electric hot air welder. At intersections of more than three layers of PVC membranes, weld Sentinel T-joint patches. Check the quality of your welds by sliding a probe along all joints. If the tool penetrates a joint, lift up that section and heat it again using an electric hot air welder. Use the tool to securely seal the joint in place. That's it! Those are the installation steps for bonding Sentinel PVC membranes on the field surface of a roof using the DuoTac SPF adhesive.